Minister Chris Toffey. But you have never seen him before. Tonight you will see him. If you go, go, you will see him everywhere. And so he communicates the gospel. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm thrilled to introduce you to the speaker for tonight. It's nobody than Minister Chris Toffey, all the way from Dallas District. Amen. Amen. Convention. Remain in Christ. Wow. <laughs> no, that be true. What's the theme of our convention? Glory to God uh -huh. in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Hey. In the highest that we are saying. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. The Church of Pentecost, Dallas District, oh. we wish you all Merry Christmas. Amen. Amen. Tonight I'm going to be speaking about lessons from Zachariah. Lessons from Zachariah. And if you brought your book, pen, I encourage you to take some notes because we are going to learn some lessons. How will these things happen since I and my wife are advanced in age? A sign of doubt. So the angel struck him down for nine months. So the question to you, the question to me, is why did Zechariah, why did he doubt the words of the angel? That was the first question that dropped on my spirit. And the whole summer started falling. Why did he disbelieve? Number two, Zechariah allowed facts to overrule truth. Zachariah allowed facts to overrule what? Truth. This is so important. I wish you guys can get it the way that I conceive this. What's the difference between facts and truth? Fact is the present reality of a thing. What's the truth? Truth is the eternal reality of a thing. Fact is the present reality of a thing, and truth is the eternal reality of a thing. Now, this is what we need to get. God deals with us, relates to us by truth, not fact. God relates to you, deal with you by what? By truth, not fact. Let's go to the scripture. Let's think about Abraham. The fact. He didn't have a child. That's the fact. You can't deny that fact. So he was what? A father of no child. That's right. And what about the truth? He was a father of what? Many nations. And which one did God use to call him? A father of no child or a father of many nations? Now let's go to Gideon. Gideon, the least in the weakest one of Manasseh. So that is the fact. Yes, Manasseh was the weakest one, so we can't deny that fact. But when the angel appeared, when God appeared to him, the truth was that he was mighty warrior. So which one did God use to call him? Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Listen, Jeremiah, he was long when the Lord appeared to him. That is the fact. But the truth was a prophet. Did God use prophets or young? See, one thing, let's, let me talk a little bit about that. When God appeared to Jeremiah, he said, before I formed you in the woods and used you, I appointed you to be a prophet to many nations, and, blah, blah, and Jeremiah's response was, oh Lord, I'm only a child. I don't know how to talk. And look at what, what the Lord said. He said, don't say you are a child. Do not say you are a child. What does that mean? What does that tell us? It means don't talk about your weakness. Don't dwell on your weakness. Don't think about the facts, but think about the truth. You see, the facts will be like you have no green card, and President Trump is trying to kick you out. <laughs> that is the fact. We can deny that. But the truth is that wherever you set your foot, the Lord has given you. Wherever you set your foot, the Lord has given you. Wherever you set your foot, the Lord has given you. Now ask yourself, the truth and the facts, which
which one sets you free? Hallelujah! Amen. It's the truth that will set you free, not the fact. Now let's break it down and make it practical. I add more practicality to it. Fact is temporary, but truth is permanent. Fact is temporary, but truth is what? Permanent. permanent. So, in that case, when anywhere you go, you ask yourself, what are the facts? What are the truth? And if you can figure it out, what are the temporary stuff and what are the permanent stuff? Let's think about the job. The paycheck is a fact. It's just temporary. It's going to go in a minute. You are not going to be on that job for 10 years or 20 years. You will say goodbye. But you know what is the truth? Which will be permanent? The relationship that you are building. You will never forget that boss. You will never forget that co-worker. The knowledge that you are gaining. The skills. So these are the things that I want you to value. These are the things that the Lord wants you to cherish. Because they are those things that will set you free on the heart and counsel. Joy to the world.